This tutorial will show you how to use Ningenious Music as a student. If your teacher sent you an email, then you can highlight the teacher ID like this and copy it so that you can paste it directly into the student sign up page. Now if your teacher gives you a handout instead of sending you an email, then simply go to myninjamusic.com and click on the link that says create a new student account. Then you'll type in the teacher ID number. Make sure you use all capital letters and include the dash in the middle of the eight digits. Next, click on Look Up Teacher, and now you get to choose a username. You're gonna use this every time you log into Ingenious Music. We suggest you choose a username that you already use for an email or for social media or any other account that you log into regularly. It should be something that's easy to remember and easy to spell correctly. So now click on check availability, and if the username is not available, then you'll have to add a number to it or a capital or something to make it unique. Once you have a username that works, click on continue, and now you're gonna fill in a bunch of information about yourself, starting with what class are you in? If you're not sure, check with your teacher first, but probably you'll know you'll be in beginning band or concert orchestra or something like that. Next, you'll fill in your first and last name. Make sure you're using the first and last name that will appear on your teacher's role so that they know exactly who you are when they look you up on Ingenious Music. Next, you'll enter your grade level and then choose a password. Now again, make sure this is a password that's easy to remember, probably one that you've used many times before. You'll have to confirm the password and then choose your instrument. You can choose more than one instrument later. For now, just choose the instrument that your teacher is expecting you to play in that class. After you click submit, you're gonna to have to wait a while, maybe up to a few days at most, because your teacher has to go in and approve you as a student in their class. Once you've been approved, you can log in from any device that's connected to the internet anywhere in the world as often as you want. There are several ways to log in. One is to go back to the email your teacher originally sent you and go to the bottom and click on the link. Your teacher may give you another way to log in by putting a link on their website or in your learning software like Canvas. But you can always go to myninjamusic.com and click student login. And now you enter your username and password. If you're missing a capital letter or a symbol or anything fancy that you put in your login or password, then you'll have to keep trying until you get it right. Or you can check with your teacher and they can tell you what your login and password is. The first thing you should do when you get here is click on the menu button and customize your ninja. You can choose the color of the ninja's clothing uh, and adjust how dark or light it is. Choose the color of the skin. Choose the eye color and you can also adjust the lightness and darkness of the eye color. Click on done. Now you're ready to go and play. As you look at the screen you'll see some levels have a little hand on it. The hand means that that level is focused on fingerings. A musical note means that level is focused on rhythm. The letter C means it's focused on note names. And a treble clef means it's focused on music theory. Let's click on level one. You'll see in each level, you can click on these red arrows to cycle through the questions it will ask and look at what the answers are. When you're ready to attempt the game, click on play now. Now it's gonna ask you a question and you have three possible answers to choose from. This level is basic music theory like measure, staff, treble clef, etc. At any time, you can click the back arrow to restart the level or to choose a different level. Now, if you think you'll know everything in the five levels, you can go ahead and click on the belt test and try earning the belt. In this case, the yellow belt has questions and answers from the first five levels. The belt test takes longer than a standard level because you're going through lots and lots of questions to show if you really deserve that belt. Ultimately, you'll want to earn all seven belts in Ingenious Music. But you can also show that you're really a master by getting all black stars. Each time you play a level, you'll earn a certain color for that level. The colors go from yellow to orange to green to blue to purple, brown, and ultimately black. So a real master of Ingenious Music will have all black stars and will earn the ultimate black belt. Each time you play an ingenious music, your scores and data are sent to your teacher so they can track your progress. They can search by your name, they can search by instrument and see who's got the highest scores of each instrument. 
They can search by class and they can see the highest belt you've earned plus how many levels you've passed.